Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. This week Heidi is on half term, she's off school for the next week and I at the moment have just come out for a little wander around one of my favourite houses in the whole wide world, Haddon Hall. Now if you follow me for a little while um, you will have seen that I did uh, a vlogmas episode from here um, because it's just absolutely stunning at Christmas time and it gets fully decked out, it's just brilliant. Um, but today I've just come for a little potter around just to see if the roses are out. Um, since I went to Felly last week the roses have started to appear, they are the odd ones now. Um, some are in full bloom and some have barely anything but uh, for the like for the majority of them they've, they've got a few flowers on. So I've come to have a look and see what is out at Haddon at the moment. Now it's going to be a flying visit because I plan on coming back and doing a very very thorough video tour of Haddon because I just love it so much. Um, but at the moment it's just going to be as I say a flying visit, just have a little peek inside, see what's on in the gardens and then make another trip back here in the very very near future. So this room is obviously the dining room. Surprisingly, the family do actually still use this space. If you've watched the Jane Eyre version with Michael Fassbender, this fireplace here is where him and Jane sit. Look at all of these peonies, so pretty.
So inside here is the old chapel. And be careful. The floors are very, very uneven. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at these old drawings on the walls. They're one of the finest examples that survive here in England. The roof was redone. You can see the date up there, 1624. So that's one of the newest parts. As I say, I'll come back and do a full proper tour around here. It's just, just a flying visit today. But I wanted to give you a little peek inside. Right, I'm back in the car. I've finished at Haddon and I'm off on to my next destination. It's about 10, 15 minutes just down the road. It's a local farm where I'm going to collect our monthly supply of beef. So these are the fields where my beef comes from. This is where the cattle graze. It's really, really good to know precisely where your food comes from, especially meat. Actually, you can see some of them just there on the hilltop. They're rare breed, Belted Galloway. It's only about 20, just over 20, uh, under 25 in the herd. So there's only one good to slaughter every, about every, six weeks and then it gets hung for three weeks so very very sustainable and um yeah just ethical practices no horrible antibiotics no forced rushed growth all very very natural and as good for you as it can be just arrived at Renishaw Hall. Um, their gardens are really, really beautiful. Hi. Hi. It's Heidi's week off. She is on half term this week. So we are just off on a little adventure together. We've just been to the cinema and what did we watch Heidi? Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers. Um, so we just had a little movie theatre date and now we're at this garden to have a little wander around and see what is out in flower. <laughs> Harry would prefer to be back at the cinemas. Yeah. And then hopefully later on, so we've got a really beautiful day again here in Derbyshire. We're gonna go for picnic. Picnic. Yeah, hopefully off for a picnic this evening. If the uh, if the weather holds. Right, let's go and have a little mooch about. In 
into the gardens we go. Ooh, Heidi, what did you get? Huh? What did you get fish from food. the ladies? Fish food. Fish food. <laughs> we get to feed all the fishies. Mm. You excited? Mm. I really, really love this garden. I haven't been since, I think, Bluebell, Bluebell Wood time last year with my mum and Heidi. And um, yeah, it's about time I pay another visit. It is really, really lovely. And there's a uh, laburnum arch out in flower, apparently, which I'm really looking forward to. I was hoping we could get booked on to the house tour because the house isn't open um, generally. It's only open via tour, which usually only happens in the sort of summer months. As far as I'm aware, that's changed um, because the family still live there, still a family home. Um, but today it's full, so I'll have to pay another visit um, to, to come and do the tour. So today it's just gonna be the gardens. Heidi's just got me a little flower. Oh. Race me. Race me? Ooh, okay, let's do a race. <laughs> ah, he got beat again. I don't know what the name of this temple um, style uh, construction is, but it's where the family have buried all of their animals. There's little uh, gravestones. It's like a little memorial almost. It's really, really sweet. So down there we've got Chica, we've got Tilly from 1961 to 65, Pippa 1956 to 69. That's a funny one. Heinz. Quite pretty with all the roses starting to bloom. Yes. Gosh, it's so peaceful. Even on what is probably a busy day, the car park was rammed. I've just come and found this really nice quiet spot and you, there's no one around. It's just so peaceful and all you can hear is the birds chirping. Ah, oh, just bliss. Heidi's just playing with the leaves in the, in the grass over there, being very sweet. April, early May. This is the Camellia Walk 
It's just laden with beautiful pink camellia flowers all the way down here. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So, so, so pretty. Also, a few weeks ago, this would have been absolutely covered with bluebells. It's just magical, this little wood. You can still see vague little remnants. Oh, I won't focus on them, but yeah. Absolutely covered in bluebells and it really, really does look a dream. Look how dreamy, the Laberna March. So pretty. Heidi and I have found the best spot to sit under. Yes, can I show you? <laughs> All of that tunnel. Trying to smell it. Yes. I'll move it out of the way. There you go. It's such a beautiful garden, but it's one of those properties that I really, really struggle to photograph and make look good in images. Um, so especially on a day like today, it's far too bright, so we'll come back another day and try them. Oh wow, look Heidi, all of that is going to be roses. Wow, yeah, they're all roses. It's really nice to see this little courtyard open because if the family were at home, this is always closed off. But how gorgeous. About a month ago, this would have been covered with wisteria, but now you can see it is just starting to get its rose buds open. So this is going to be absolutely covered in roses in a week or two. I will really try my best to come back because this will look absolutely divine, my goodness. <laughs> 